Well, in terms of my interest uh, in the festival, I think it's important to go back to the beginning, which is about 1963. I, I was, first of all, the most important thing to me are the filmmakers, because it's all meant to, to, to move towards the same whole center, which is um, creating advantages for the filmmakers and by so doing advantage for the audience. The more platform we create and the more we promote it, the good. The heart of it is where I go, which is how we program it, the importance of programming, the nature of programming, and the filmmakers themselves. It started because we wanted to create a second chapter of opportunity for the filmmakers. Suddenly technology um, began to emerge in a much faster, stronger force. About that time, we got focused on how was, what role was Sundance going to play in joining the technology. The power of the online is that it can take advantage of a non-existent distribution, whereas the, the current distribution sources until the internet were very limited and they were subject to the controls of the powers that built them. It's democratized film in a way that when film was really endangered, I mean now people can see things that are being denied them by the certain powers that be. That's also Sundance's role to facilitate that, getting more people to see different points of view through film. So I think the new technology has some amazing advantages and, and we're very focused on that, how, how to work with it to the advantage of the audience and the filmmaker. The internet <clears throat> escapes the power to uh, manipulate, control, to, to squelch opinions because it's so universal and it's quick and it's so de democratic. So that's great. I mean, I think that's one of the beauties of the new technology. It's created a more democratic principle. When, when, <laughs> when a lot of people who expound the importance of democracy are in the business trying to shred it.